Pittsburgh. Good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarb al -Fat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and council members in El Sakhir Palace for the council's sixth session and congratulated the members on their appointment and wished them all success. His Majesty affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to establish justice and equality values by empowering and supporting women and maintaining their level of advancement. He also asserted that the Bahraini women are responsible and trustworthy and has proven Bahrain's superiority by its accomplishments. In this regard, His Majesty highlighted Her Royal Highness's efforts in strengthening the role of Bahraini women through the Council's initiatives since its establishment 15 years ago. He added that the institutional work has a great effect on reinforcing the role of women and making them a key partner in the development process and involving them in public and private fields, which has contributed in ensuring equal chances. He also noted the efforts of the judicial, legislative and executive authorities in supporting the Council's march, which was reflected on supporting the laws and regulation system that are in favor of Bahraini women. His Majesty stressed the importance of presenting Bahraini women experiences by participating in various international events to illustrate Bahrain's achievements. He also highlighted the, con the canonial march of Bahraini's vital areas such as education, health, judiciary and the police that have included Bahraini women in all work fields, especially as education, with a percentage of more than 60% in the higher education field. Her Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty on his support for Bahraini women for it is the basis to attain rights and strengthen its position to develop the country as well as his follow-up on the council and considered his blessings of the Bahraini women national Norris plan, proof of the support the institution enjoys. Her Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty upon the United Nations Industrial Development Organization on Ring for Bahrain, empowering women in the field of economics, noting the Kingdom's efforts in providing the environment to strengthen the culture of entrepreneurship among women and young people. Her Royal Highness also thanked His Majesty for the allocation of an in integrated complex for family courts that ensures Bahraini families' privacy when litigating, which allows them legal services under one roof. Her Royal Highness presented His Majesty with a copy of the 15-year March book that summarizes the Council's march and its contributions to empowering Bahraini women, as well as a poem written by Sheikh bin Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a letter to the President of the Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People for the sake on the occasion of the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian People. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts exerted by the committee members in supporting the Palestinian cause in international events. He said that this day reflects the UN and the international community's keenness in supporting the Palestinian cause and helping Palestinians Palestinians gain their rights of establishing a sovereign state. He said that the Palestinian cause is the primary concern of the international community, noting the Israeli's suppressive actions taken against Palestinians through the continuous arbitrary arrests and building settlements on the occupied land of Palestine, particularly in Jerusalem. He added that the raids on Al-Aqsa Mosque and discrepancing its holiness stands in the way of negotiations. His Majesty of Affirmed Bahrain's support to the Palestinian cause in all international events and expressed deep concern regarding the Israeli occupation's crimes and policies, which are a clear violation of UN resolutions and international conventions. His Majesty the King said that the Israeli policies attempt to alter the demographic nature of occupied Jerusalem in order to obliterate its identity to seclude it from the rest of the Palestinian lands. He stressed the importance of intensifying international efforts to stop the violent periodic attacks on Al-Aqsa Mosque that provoke all Muslims around the world. He added that the committing to the peace process was the only hope to find a just solution to the Palestinian cause and the only way to establish the sovereign state of Palestine since June 1967. His Majesty stated that the latest UNESCO resolution affirmed the Islamic identity of Al-Aqsa Mosque and Palestinians' rights to host to those holy places.
cases. He affirmed Bahrain's support of the rise of a sovereign Palestinian state and called upon the international community to exert more efforts so that Palestinians would restore their inalienable rights, according to the UN Security Council's two-state resolution and the Arab Peace Initiative, which calls Israel to fully withdraw from the Palestinian land. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent an invitation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to attend the 37th Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC summit, to be hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain in December. The invitation was conveyed by the ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, as he was received by the custodian of the two holy mosques in Al Khubar. The ambassador also conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to King Salman, the Crown. Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud wishing Saudi Arabia and its people further growth and advancement. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a letter to the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, including an invitation to participate in the 37th session of the Gulf Cooperation Council Supreme Council Summit to be hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain in December. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Mauritanian President Mohammed Wild Abdul Aziz on his country's Independence Day. He wished the President abundant health and happiness on this occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has also sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to the Mauritanian President Mohammed Wild Abdul Aziz on his country's Independence Day. He also sent a similar cable to Mauritania's Prime Minister Yahya Wild Hamidan on this national occasion, wishing the Mauritanian people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Princess Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting at Gadabia Palace today. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa upon receiving the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, the UNIDO's award, which was granted to His Majesty in recognition to his role in economically empowering Bahraini women and for his landmark development achievements. His Royal Highness the Premier briefed the cabinet on His Royal Highness's visit to Saudi Arabia to discuss with the custodian of the two holy mosques the bilateral relations and ways to further develop joint cooperation as well as to review the latest regional and international developments. His Royal Highness affirmed the success of the visit and commended the strong brotherly ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister reviewed housing projects and the distribution of housing units for citizens in various villages and cities. His Royal Highness directed to process the housing applications of the year 2002, no later than 2016. His Royal Highness the Premier also directed to develop agriculture and its policies and to promote food manufacturing and Bahraini products marketing is as to develop agricultural investments in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Housing to study the causes of rainwater accumulation in some areas and to take procedures as to avoid the problem in the future. His Royal Highness the Premier also shared with the Cabinet his notes regarding Jewelry Arabia 2016 which was recently held under His Royal Highness's patronage. His Royal Highness directed directed the authorities to take all measures to develop the exhibition as to enhance the kingdom's status as a hub for conferences and exhibitions industry. On the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day, the cabinet hailed the political, economical and social achievements of Bahraini women and their contribution to serving Bahrain and its people, noting the role of the Supreme Council for Women in supporting and empowering women.
The cabinet approved a draft law to ratify establishing a governmental Bahraini Russian Committee for Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation between Bahrain and Russia and to take the constitutional and legal procedures to refer it to legislature. The cabinet also approved reorganizing Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities through the creation of the post of a Director General for Antiquities and a Director General for Culture and Arts and the abolition for the post of Assistant Under Secretary for culture and national heritage. The cabinet approved a recommendation to amend the required fees for part practicing engineering professions. The cabinet reviewed the databases of boards of trustees and boards of directors of companies, public institutions and specialized committees and followed up the measures taken to develop these establishments. The cabinet also approved the counseling cabinets in Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa School and Daya Primary Schools and replacing them with new academic buildings. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Arabia Palace Shura Council Speaker Ali bin Salah Al Salah and a number of the Council's members in the presence of former Representatives Council Speaker Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Zahrani. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of awareness regarding shared responsibility in order to overcome differences in the face of all threats. He affirmed the government's keenness to work in cooperation with the legislative authority based on its belief of the spirit of teamwork. He reviewed with the audience the course of cooperation between the government and the parliament and means to, to develop and support this cooperation and added that this requires joint national efforts. He affirmed that in light of the current developments, further coordination between the legislative and executive authorities is essential in order to avoid the security and economic impact of the kingdom. His Royal Highness urged to spare no effort in serving the kingdom and in enhancing the living standards of the people. He expressed pride in the role of the citizens and their representatives in the council in pointing out areas that require further development and in helping the government maintain the kingdom's progress in all fields. He noted that constructive criticism receives attention from the government and that government bodies have clear directives to react immediately upon receiving any notices.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Mauritanian President Mohammed Wilda Abdul Aziz on his country's Independence Day. He wished the President abundant health and happiness on this occasion. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, held a meeting today in the British Representatives Council headquarters with the concerned parliamentary group in the kingdom on the occasion of the Minister's visit to the UK. The Minister expressed pride in the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the UK, stating that the bilateral ties receives attention from the two countries, which all contribute to its development and growth in various fields. On their part, the British MPs hailed the historic relations between the kingdom and the UK affirming the continued cooperation in all fields. The Ministry of Housing confirmed in a statement that the Rainwater Drainage Emergency Team monitored only one case of water accumulation during the third day of rain in the Kingdom in Al Hamala. The emergency team coordinated with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning to drain the rainwater. The technical team inspected the rainwater drainage networks to find out the source of the problem. The Ministry stated that the location of the Jadhaf's housing project witnessed a vandalism accident in which vandals cut a pipe attached to a water pump using a sharp object in order to leak water into the streets and the project's park. The technical team was able to fix the pipe immediately and drain the water. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,177.15 points, marking a decrease of 19.3 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 66% of total shares. 69 transactions included 1,801,303 shares worth 263,835 Bahraini dinars.